So what I'll do, I'll, I'll just talk to you about the horses, what they do. Okay, as you know, if you went around, we're the keepers of the common. We've been around since 1872. Um, there's seven of us all together. There's seven of us all together. I'm the senior keeper and there's six other keepers. All the keepers here have served in the military. Well, most of us in the household cabinet. As you see the guys riding around, there's the blues and wars and lifeguards, that's what we want here, as well as in the armoured side. Um, in fact, one of the newest guys who just turned up. Anyway, um, we've got four horses. This is Percy. He was an ex-police horse. He was in Strathclyde Police. He got rejected at the end of his training. And he got sold to an auction. Well, he went down to a Reading auction. A little lady bought him and had him in a field with a donkey for about two years. I heard about him and went to look at him and he, and he was with a little donkey in him, covered in mud. And I felt such a proud beast that we brought him and brought him along here and he's been with us for about six years. Same with Alfie, the one next to him, the other big fella. He was a, a police officer who was rejected from Merseyside Police. Similar thing, went to an auction and we bought him and he works here now. Another horse there, Boltair, was an ex-cavalry black. He was, um, he's done all state duties and he actually came with one of the rangers who works here now was the Arroyo Master of the Cavalry, who brought him with him, okay? And then Chance is our newest horse. Um, yeah, he's a new horse. <laughs> he's worked his way up. But um, he came from uh, another horse that was sold at auction and been around. But he was quite a big event as well at this time. Anyway, um, every day I make the duties up. We patrol the cob for 365 days a year. Um, there's, as I say, there's normally about four or five people on a day. If they're not riding, they're on foot. And so we work every day of the year, Boxing Day, Christmas Day. We never get time off. I, each day, make the duties out so the whole common is covered, north, south. There's always a mounted keeper there. We're all in radio contact. Anyway, in the morning, the first man comes in at about quarter to six. And he mucks all the horses out and he grooms his own horse for that patrol. And then slowly, half seven, half eight, we all come in at different times. So when he comes in, in the morning, he looks at his horse, because he rides, we all ride the four horses, we know the horses so well, we know any lumps or bumps. And the art of grooming the horses is to actually yeah, use the horses. The first brush we use is a dandy brush. And this is a stiff brush to use, to actually go over the horse, to actually get all the sweat out of it, all the dirt, you know, to flicking it up. You do not use this brush on his tail, because he will just pull his tail out, and he'll end up with a terrible... And his mane. You don't use them on a mane, the same thing. After you've brushed him all over with that, all down his leg, checking his leg, make sure all his tendons aren't swollen. Then his left hand feet have any problems. Right way down, under his belly, in between his legs here, because as you can imagine, when a horse is cantering along, it shakes mud up and gets all in there, grooves of their skin. After you've done that, you get this brush, which is called a body brush, the curry coat, as you can see. And this brush is used to really polish your horse. The thing is, don't tickle a horse. If you tickle a horse, you'll get kicked. Give them a good brush over. Huh? You know, right between the legs there, down the legs, all the way down. Right the way in here, all the grooves. It should take about half an hour to body brush the horse. Right the way over. Under his belly. By the way, what colour horse is this? Can you tell me what colour he is? No, he's got, they've got official names. Grey is a sort of official name for colour. No. His actual colour is called flea bitten grey. That's, that's actually, that's what they're called. That's the flea bitten style. So if you any book, you'll see that flea bitten grey. Anyway, so if you're body brushed over, you really get a sweat on under his belly. Hang on here, just get it. Just let him know, he knows what I'm doing. His face. Don't look down his face. Burn his eyes, burn his ears. Really get under his ball there. So you should have a look, you should have a pile of sweat. When we're in the army, we used to have to make sure you just put a line of sweat along. And we used to come in and check to make sure you didn't get all the rules used to do. So we're all a bit ticked off here. Um, you then get what you call a dock sponge. 
Put sponge, this sponge is used, you do one eye, then you turn it over, do the other eye so you don't cross contaminate. Make sure you do his nose, so his eyes, nose, and then you do his dock. You always wash his bottom. And that's another charge of PCR. He washed his bum bum, didn't he? Pick his hooves, do his thing on a hoof pick. Both of so just lift them up and you always go away. That's a frog, you don't push it that way because you can stick it in his leg. Then you make sure you check his shoes, all around his shoes, there's no nails sticking out. These horses are shot every three weeks, that's how quick you know. And don't have a horse shot at 75 pounds to a horse shot. So you can imagine how expensive it is when people aren't coming in. That is just, well, we've got four horses, so we're working that. We then have a comb, which a comb is made. Make sure his nails comb out. And his tail. And what we do with the tail, the tail will get very bushy, so what we do, you call it we pull in the tail. And you get her like that and you pull it. And that's how you pull the tail. It doesn't hurt him from the picture. You know? That's what you're doing. You're doing it. And what you're doing is trying to get a shape to the tail. The tail comes down nice and narrow and splays out. And then you get a this is this horse is eight, uh, yeah, he's about 18 years old. He's also about 18 one high in height. And just if you don't know, he had a measure horse. The horse is measured in hands. That's about four inches. We use this machine, put it on top of there, put it on the ground, make sure the bubble's level. And as you can see, it's 18-1. That's how you measure a horse. And to tell an age of a horse, you can tell an age of a horse by his teeth. So what you do, you put your hand in his mouth and put his tongue out. And you look at this, this large tooth here. See the large tooth here? It takes, there's a groove there, and it takes 10 years for that groove to start. It takes another 10 years for that groove to run down its tooth. So it's, you can tell by other teeth how old they are after 10, but it's very easy to find out the age of the horse after 10. You know, so he's three quarters away down to his 18. And that's how it's about 80. I've got the tail bandage, so you duck the tail down. You just stick that on your neck like that, put that underneath. Horses won't kick. We've all been kicked with that one time. And that goes round like that. Yeah. <laughs> so he's nice and neat. When he has his shoes polished, we have we get an oil out, there's a special hoof oil we use. comes in a tub. This is a, it's a, it's a, what you call a horn grower. And what we do, we put it round here, and it makes the hoof grow very quickly. But it also makes your nails grow very quickly. It's the same thing, I'm serious now. So if you've got trouble, you might bite your nails. If you go to Harley Street, someone told me, they sell that for about 50 pounds for a little tub. We can buy that for a tenner, I think. So if anyone who wants any, I'll give some here. It really does make the nails grow. Our nails go really quickly. It smells. It's just wonderful. I've got two. So anyway, he's now. He's already done patrol now. Mm. And then you just, you just saddle him up to his saddle. Get out. <coughs> 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 But normally, I mean, it's been saddled already, so it's hard to do. But you always saddle up, you always work from the near side of the horse. You always mount the horse from the near side. 
that's that on there. This is his marking girl. It comes round in there. So it's all ready to go on patrol. That's any time you worry about horses biting, but you're doing a dirt up. Some horses. So who's ready to go? These things here, a little point, are called chestnuts. And they're about, they, people say that it's like a dog, it's like a dog, it's like a dog. It's, and someone threatens that when the horses are in the, the mother's womb, they join together. It's sticking out. Nobody knows. And this, is, this other bit here is called an ergot, sticking out here. And what we have to do is cut them out again. They grow long and they get snapped off. So, um... It's one of the questions we ask people when they come for a job, we always say, you know, if they say, oh, I'll go Show me where the chest chest is. Uh, the time, you know. Anyway, um, the first little plastic we use, rubber curry cone, this is just another one we use just to massage in. Especially when they've got long hair. Yeah. It's not too technical, but it's a job we all have to do every day. Keep the horses looking at different dishes. Anyone any questions at all about horses? Yeah. Working yeah. horse like this, probably about 23, 24, somewhere less. I mean, the thing is, we buy horses which are normally retired horses, like our army horses are retired from the army. So we, we, we tend not to, we look after them and give them the best veterinary care, but we can't, it's like the vehicle, we can't just keep them carrying them on. They've got to do a job, they've got to do a job. And sadly from us, they're all right. So we do um, extend their lives a bit, I think. But you know, they, they got the, it's a heavy day for them. They can be out four or five hours a day patrolling, you know, and they're punching around. And, but they're the best means of transport. You've got to, carry, you've got to chase any, or we chase a lot of motorbikes on the con, you know, people steal motorbikes and motorbikes. And you can chase them on these, we know the common so well, and you know, they can play, they make funny signs of you. The next thing we're going to do is the beach. <laughs> so, um, no, and, it, and, it's, and it's got that sort of um, presence about it. You know, you've got a rage on a horse looking down at something, especially when you've got a group of young, young kids, but, you know, teenagers giving you a bit of doubt. You can sort of go up to them. And they'll do anything, these horses, saying that. They're going out in the arena in a minute. We're a bit nervous because they're not quite used to the crowd. Well. We might see where they go. But all, we've all fallen off them, you know, there's... You know, this horse has been down a couple of times this year, you know, people have fallen off and, you know, he's actually down. But, so, I mean, when you're younger, you can get away with it, you're older. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts a